What's up guys, it's Lucas and you're watching Fine Tuning. Fine, yeah. I'm guilty of pre-judging guitars based on their shape or their color or brand. I've gotten a little better as I've gotten older and more experienced, but still, I do it sometimes. So when a representative from Michael Kelly reached out to me and asked me about checking out one of their guitars on the channel, I was a little hesitant because they're sort of an unknown quantity to me, but I decided to give it a go anyway because I've never done a video on a guitar with a piezo, 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 pietro, under the saddle acoustic pickup. And it's an attractive price for the feature set, so let's see what the Michael Kelly Hybrid Special has to offer. Alright, first let's talk specs. The Hybrid Special features a chambered mahogany body with a zero cote top. You can also get it in a spalted maple top. It has a Powell Ferro acoustic style bridge with a Tusk acoustic style saddle that has been compensated for electric guitar strings so you don't need to worry about using a wound third. It has a modern C-shaped mahogany neck with very generous neck heel carve here, which I really like. The neck has a Powell Ferro fingerboard with a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, a 12 inch fretboard radius, and 22 medium jumbo frets. The nut is made of graphite, the inlays are mother of pearl blocks, and on the back of the headstock you will find Grover tuners. You can also see that the body, neck, and headstock are all bound for that ultra classy look. The Hybrid Special also has two Rockfield SWC humbuckers. It has a three-way toggle and a volume and tone, and the volume control is also a push-pull for coil splits on the humbuckers. It also has a volume control for the acoustic pickup, and then another three-way toggle over here that selects either the acoustic pickup, the magnetic pickups, or both pickups. Now when you have it in the both position, you can use your volume controls to kind of vary the balance between the two sounds. Now you can run both the magnetic and the acoustic pickups into an electric or an acoustic amp with one standard guitar cable, but what I'm going to do to take advantage of this guitar is use a stereo Y splitter. This will let me send the magnetic pickups to my Hughes & Kettner Black Spirit 200 and the acoustic pickup directly to my interface. Then I'm going to treat the acoustic signal a bit with some reverb and compression, just the same way that I would a mic'd up acoustic guitar. So first let's hear the magnetic pickups with a clean tone.
Now let's hear the acoustic pickup by itself. Now let's try the magnetic pickups with some drive. And of course we have to try some high gain as well, but because this is a hybrid guitar I thought it'd be interesting to switch back and forth between acoustic and then a high gain sound and then blend the two.
thoroughly impressed. The guitar sounds great, it plays great, and it's good for a ton of applications. So I think this guitar would be a smart purchase for anyone who wants to have an acoustic type sound in a live situation where using a full bodied acoustic might be prone to feedback. It also feels and plays like an electric guitar, because it is. So if you're like me and you prefer to play electric guitar in most situations, this guitar is gonna feel right at home to you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I highly encourage you to go check out these Michael Kelly guitars because I think they're punching well above their weight class. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know where in the world you're from because I find that interesting. Click the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content from me and if you'd like to support the channel directly, you can donate in the description below. Thanks for watching and until next time, I'll catch you later. Yeah.